Hello everyone, we will continue the topic ALV by CL underscore SALV underscore table class. And we finished with the logic part of double click functionality. And now I will explain in that debugging mode. And if some confusion is there, it will be automatically clear. So I will put a breakpoint as a part of start of selection. I will log in again. Session got disconnected. And I will put a breakpoint into event handler method logic also. So I will put a breakpoint as a part of start of selection. And I will put a breakpoint in the event handler method also, which is triggering on double click. I will execute. Suppose I am giving the input 1 to 10 suppose. Whenever I will click on to execute button, Yes, start of selection event will trigger. I will go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop. Now we are fetching data from VBAK table based upon the input. You can see as of now internal table has zero records. Whenever I will execute this query, so we have 10 records into this internal table. Now we are calling the factory method and we are passing that data internal table. As of now, the object is initial. Whenever we will call the factory method, yes, the object will create. And you can see, yes, the object is created. If the object is created, we are firstly calling the get function method. So that functions will be enabled. Now, after that, we are simply, simply calling the get underscore event method. If you see as of now, hello underscore event object of this particular event class, this event class is blank as of now. Whenever we will call this method, the object of event class will create. And you can see the object of event class is created. Now we are declaring a object in which we have the event handler method. In this class, we have the event handler method. Now, we are creating the object. If you see, as of now, object is initial and we created the object. Now we are telling SAP that this handler, this handler will act as a event handler method. And yes, we registered the event handler method and we are displaying the ALB. So we told SAP that handler will act as a event handler method whenever user will double click. Suppose I am double clicking onto this record. Why I am double clicking onto this record? So that you can understand that this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, the record number is a record number is 8 and on 8 number record, the sales document number is 5. I am double click. And why event handler method triggered? Because we registered. If we will not register, system will not understand. So we registered the event handler method. And because of that, SAP understand, yes, whenever I am double clicking, it has to go for this event handler method and that is handler. 
Now we will simply simply go for internal table that is LT underscore VBA. Now we clicked on to eighth number record. If you see row is equal to eight. Now from this internal table, we are moving the eighth number record to the work area. If I will show you work area as of now, this is our work area. Work area is completely blank as of now. Whenever this read table will execute, eighth number record from the internal table will go to work area. And you can see in the work area, we have the eighth number record. And on the eighth number record, what is sales document number five? And you can see size sub RC is zero because read table statement executed successfully. Now I will do F6. Now we are fetching data from VBAP table based upon sales document number five. And this is what we want. Yes, we want to fetch the data from VBAP table based upon the sales document number of the selected row, double click row. And yes, this five will go to VBELM of VBAP table. It will fetch the data and data will come into this internal table. If you see this internal table has how many records as of now? Zero. Whenever I will execute, you can see we have one record in the internal table and three column data. Now we are calling the factory method to just create a object of this particular class. You can see as of now object is initial. We are passing that data. Whenever this method will execute, you can see the object has been created. If the object is created, can we call the display method? Yes, we can call the display method. Now I am executing. And you can see we have the data detail of or we have the data of sales document number five only. Suppose if I am clicking on to another record. Suppose on 10th number record, the sales document number is 9. If I am double clicking, yes, event handler method triggered. And you can see the row is equal to 10, is equal to 10. And on the 10th number record, if you see the sales document number is 9. So whenever this read table statement will execute, based upon index 10. So 10th number record will go to work area. You can see in the work area, we have the 10th number record. And what is sales document number on the 10th number record? It is 9, 9. So it will fetch that data from VBAP table based upon sales document number 9. So we have the details of sales document number nine. Now we are calling the factory method and we are calling the display method. Now, if you want those buttons in the application toolbar of the second ALB, you can do same to same thing. Suppose if I want to display the buttons here. So what I will do? I will just you copy paste the same to same logic here also. So I will go to change mode. And now I will simply simply go for this particular functions on the second ALB also. Now rather than this ALB one, I will go to ALB2. Yes. I will go for syntax check and we will go for activate. Now we will see are we getting an expected output or not. I will simply remove the breakpoints and we will now check 
without the debugging. I gave the input 1 to 10. Now, suppose I will double click here. You can see we have the buttons here also. I will go to back. I will go to back. Suppose I will click on to 9. You can see we have details of sales order number 9. Suppose I will click here. We have the details of sales document number 4. So this is the way we cover the double click functionality. So what is the full summary of this particular video? In this video, we understood each and everything in the debugging mode. On the execute button, the start of selection event trigger. We are displaying data from VBAK table. We registered the event handler method. When we double clicked because we registered, so system understood that it has to call the event handler method. And we simply understood in that debugging mode how we are getting that data from the VBAP table. In the next video, same way we will go for hotspot functionality also. So that's it in this video. Thank you.